we continue to converse on the subject of integrity, and we're going to carry it on for, for a little bit because I think it's a very, very important subject. And remember, I'm not just talking about what God demands of you as a political leader. I'm thinking about what God demands of me as a church leader. How can I demonstrate integrity in my leadership calling? Can I be described as selfish or greedy or uh, high-hearted? I mean, are these things that can define me, God forbid? Because Jesus himself, who was the greatest example of good leadership, was meek and lowly. May God raise men and women in our country who will be meek and lowly. I'm going to be discussing in days to come four reasons why you and, Ma, you and I must lead with integrity. But we need to be reminded that Integrity is defined as a quality of honest and having unshakable moral principles. When I speak to young people, I tell them one of the greatest value you can develop as a young person is to write down some of the Issues of morality that you can never, never compromise. As you consider about the value of the life that God has given. And for all of us, given to leadership and who aspire for leadership, one of the things that has been very disturbing over time is to even to see the kind of corruption that will be associated with uh, people who want to uh, be able, who, who actually engage other people to work for them so that you, you get a degree that you never earned because somebody was working for you and you paid them. That is also a, a corruption of some kind. We even have situations where university students uh, compromise their integrity for favors by their professors and lecturers. Again, an abuse of power and an abuse of integrity as principles. So I want to urge, as we continue to converse on this very, very important subject, an appreciation of the fact that uh, integrity will demand consistent actions, and strong values. In other words, it's, quality, you know, it's a quality of people who do not, who do the right thing at all times, even when no one is looking, and especially when it's difficult to do so. In a survey of over 3,000 employees and chief financial officers in 2016, integrity was highlighted by both groups as the most important attribute to a leader. And this is a conversation we'll continue for a while. But let's pray as a country, because we have a great country. God has given us a great country. And I think the crisis we have in our great republic the crisis of good leadership. And those of you who profess the faith, I will challenge some of you. If you have a political anointing, you know, go and run for a political, build correct, a political capital so that you can stand as a, an MCA or a member of parliament so that we can start infusing within our leadership system from parliament to other levels of leadership. God-fearing people. Let's pray for those in leadership because they are there now. And there's nothing we can do about them except for prayer that they will rule in the fear of God. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. Continue to look upon you in faith 
knowing that you are a good God and you continue to help us, for we are your people and you love this country. We pray that this cool ason will cease. Lord, whatever it takes for it to stop, protect our students and our pupils in Jesus' name. Amen.